Is it a uh, surprise to you that given his pedigree and his quote unquote work rate and all that and believability that he was never NWA world champion or did he not really fit the mold? But you just take a look at the champions from that era and you think, well, Greg could have been one of those guys. Greg could have been one of those guys, definitely, because I think Greg could have handled the travel and Greg could have handled anybody in any ring anywhere in the world. So um, I don't know. Again, the the championship committee, if you will, and people that would make those determinations and make those choices, uh, a lot of times didn't always have really good rhyme or reason as to why they chose certain guys to do it other than they wanted to get their territory they want to take their, care guy. of their guys yeah, yeah they want to take their they wanted their guy from their territory to be the top guy so when he dropped it he came back and he was former champion i'm glad you mentioned that because you know recently i've been having conversations in some other podcasts about how the old nwa system you know was almost mob like you know, instead of there being the head of the five families that we hear about, you know, from the, the mafia, here are all these heads of the territories and they're going to get together at one big annual convention and decide we're going to give you this guy and you're going to take that guy and here's our turf. And, but politics were always a part of wrestling. That's not a new thing, right? But not everybody got to participate in those. Right. Not everybody got to participate in the meetings. When it came down to the meetings to determine who the champion was going to be, what big moves there might be. It was only a few guys. Very closed off. Very closed off. And if you if you weren't a card carrying member and in, in a um And even if you were in the meeting, it didn't mean you had any stroke. No, because but but the smaller meeting, the decision making meeting, yes. Yeah. There were only a few guys in that. You know, that usually consisted of like Fritz and Eddie Graham, Jim Barnett, uh Mushnick. And like Roy Shire, I don't even know if Roy even made those because Roy didn't believe in the NWA championship. He thought it was, the fuck do I need them for?